There's been an outbreak of common sense at the National Trust. The organisation which looks after some of our greatest public buildings has a new chief who said we cannot rewrite history based upon a political agenda. René Olivieri, who took over as chairman in February, has said in an interview that whilst we are entitled to raise questions about the history of the Trust's 200 plus buildings, new views cannot eclipse other perspectives. In other words, you can't rewrite history. Well done him. For the last few years, the National Trust has been hellbent on apologising for the entirety of our history, with trigger warnings and self-flagellating signs about our terrible past. Signs everywhere, it drives me mad. Even Winston Churchill's family home, Chartwell, has been burdened with, yes, yet more signs, linking it to colonial rule. Now, slavery, the most evil act in history, is not exclusive to these shores. Every great ancient city was built on the back of it. And it was, unfortunately, how the world economy functioned for centuries. And it must never be repeated again. Although, of course, it is with devices like this smartphone and two quid T-shirts produced on the back of human exploitation and death. A fact lost on woke hypocrites tweeting about our crimes of the past on devices that represent crimes being played out as we speak. What about all of those smug people cruising around in electric cars like they're such wonderful human beings with not a thought about the children spending 14 hours in wet sand in Africa looking for minerals like lithium that power their lovely vehicles? Slavery is an appalling stain on all of our histories, but Britain was the most proactive force in ending this evil crime. We must teach children about slavery at school, absolutely, but it shouldn't be the exclusive lens through which we tell our story. If I was thinking about what kind of sign to put up outside Winston Churchill's home, I wouldn't be banging on about colonialism. For me, it would simply say, here once lived Winston Churchill, the man who stopped the worst murderer in history, Adolf Hitler. That's good enough for me. This intervention from the new boss of the National Trust is welcome. It's one in the eye to those who will stop at nothing to talk this country down. I was in an engineering museum recently, and they managed to link an early steam engine with our colonial crimes of the past. Do me a favour. It's a bloody engine. Can't we just look at it, enjoy it, and marvel at its ingenuity rather than receiving a political lecture. Bloody signs everywhere, I'm sick of it. I believe that the backlash against this Britain-hating woke culture is in full flight. And it looks like we may once again be able to trust the National Trust. The signs on this occasion are positive.